Hello everyone, I'm Steve, G0TAN, and I would like to welcome you to another in the series of Martin Lynch's Helpful Ham videos. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to fit plugs onto bits of coax. Um, it's a question we get off asked quite often in the workshop, um, and it's part of the uh, intermediate uh, exam, the practical exercise of the intermediate exam. So it's a Hopefully it's going to help you uh, do stuff at home, um, which you know, you've never done before, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so in this next video, um, what I'm going to do now is show you how to put an N-type compression fitting on. This is again one of the most popular um, type of connectors we use in amateur radio. So again, we're using the Messi and Polowny uh, Ultraflex 10. And this is the Ultraflex 10 N-type connector. So uh, take it out of the bag. And as before, it's a good idea to lay out the bits in sequence so you know what you're going to be doing. So you don't miss any bits and things like that. And uh, you, you might have one bit left over in a minute, which I'll talk to you about. So we start off again with the back shell, which is here. Again with the washer, which is a little bit more tunky than the last one. The actual compression gland, the T-hat with the split. Um, the front shell and a couple of other little bits here. Uh, these are the actual center pins for the N-type connector. Now there are two because this connector is actually used on some other coax as well and they give you two different types. Uh, one's got slightly bigger, you probably can't see it in the videos or anything like that. Um, one is slightly thinner walled to allow you to um, assemble it onto a piece of coax which has a, a slightly larger inner uh, conductor. So now that I've got, uh, I'm using the same piece of uh, coax I used last time with the RG, sorry, with the PL259 on. In this one, I must make sure that I put the back end on, the rotating washer, oops, forget that, and the compression gland. So again, and this one, you don't have to be too, too you're not gonna be measuring things with this anymore. You're just gonna sort of cut a piece of the uh, outer sheath off, Make sure I get the knife the right way around. I don't want blood all over the table. Especially, I've got my glasses on now as well, so I should be able to see what I'm doing a bit better. So just take off probably about 20 mils. Let's see. Oh, nice, just a gentle score down there. Here we go. Throw that over there. Again, tease the, the braid out. Pull off the bits that fall off does that quite a bit. So once you've got that out there, again make with a T-hat and just slide that down over the outside, uh, over the outside of the inner sheath, the, the conductor, and then just slide it down. Let's pull that back a bit. Just slide it down like that. You like the sound effects. And just trim off the excess like we did before. Exactly the same as what we did before. Okay, right, so that's that done. Push the gland up, so that's all nice. Right, so what have we got here? We've got two funny little white washers. I'll explain what they're for in a minute. Let me just excuse my hand. Right, let's get that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Right, now what I'm gonna do is, again, like we did in the last one, I'm gonna trim this flush. So, ouch, take, that's my thumb. Right, take my bit of braid off, break that. Again, pull it off if we can. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That's it. So, a little practice. That's it. Again, check to make sure there's no shorts or anything like that, which is good. Right, now you have two of these white washers here. The first thing we'll do before I do that, though, is make sure which one of these pins go. There we go. That's the one. Right, so I can discard that one. You do need these two white washers. Now, I don't know whether you can see. I'm going to try. There's actually a little groove on one side and not the other. And that's the same on both of them. So what you do, you get your center pin and you push it through so that there's the little collar fits inside, halfway fits inside that little recessed groove there. Okay. Then what you do is you hold that up and we want it 
trimmed off about there. So let me just take, take that off for you. Oops, I'll clear that up later. Come on, there we go. Let's make sure that's all nice and round again. That's pretty good. And hopefully if I've taken off enough, Oh, not quite, unfortunately. So I have to go back a little bit. Let's take off another couple of millimetres. That should do us. It's far too thick cable for these wire cutters. But uh, hey ho. And again, if we're lucky. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Right, on this one. Well, you put the other whitewasher on which has also got a similar um, recess just inside there which now goes the other way around so that it's fitting onto that other little collar we want to do a little bit of soldering right so make sure that it gets nice and hot and you'll suddenly see the actual solder wick down inside that hole and that'll be all gone nice and what you do then is put that over that, switch him down, nice, main shell if you're lucky, line him up, push him on, tighten that up, again with the, uh, the pliers, if I can get that there, I just, we just tighten this up. nice rubber seal around that end as well. And there, yeah, so one end type, one PL259, if I bring the other one over that's the screw on type PL259, that's all done. So very easy to do, it does take a little bit of practice but it's, uh, you know, if you watch the video and if it's helpful that's, that's great. Um, what I was, was going to say is like the end connector, the compression fitting, and the um, PL259 compression fitting is that we have another couple here. These are BNC type connectors. Um, you can get them for the Messi and Pellini, the uh, Ultraflex 10, and you can get it for the Ultraflex 7 as well. So, but it is basically exactly the same. If I take the uh, the back shell out, you'll see again the washer, the gland, the T-hat, and all the pins and things inside. I'll have to push that out. Oh, can't do that. But it's basically the same same thing. So if you use this video in conjunction with the information that uh, Missy and Palauni provide on our website, you shouldn't have any problems. And uh, good luck. Thank you.